My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am Joe Opinionated. Today I'm going to run down the top 20 Waylon Jennings songs. So this is my top 20 for Waylon Jennings, Joe Opinionated list. I'll have the playlist as well available in the comments. If you don't have YouTube premium, you have access to almost every song, every TV show you ever saw growing up, live performances on all the late show with David Letterman, stuff like that. YouTube premium is awesome. I definitely highly recommend it. I have the playlist on my page, Joe Opinionated. Here we go. Waylon Jennings top 20 songs. I didn't get into Waylon Jennings till around 2020. I watched the Ken Burns documentary on country music. Sometimes, you know, you learn about somebody. For me, with a lot of these uh, outlaw country artists, I didn't really get into them until I watched Ken Burns documentary on country music. So I got into Waylon watching that documentary. And I told a buddy of mine about that. My buddy Trist from the Trist Stones. Check out their music as well. It's, it's available in the comments. And he told me to watch Tales from the Tour Bus, which is a Mike Judge series about all these old crazy outlaw country guys. I just couldn't believe it. They're more rock and roll than Motley Crue and Ozzy Osbourne combined. Check it out. Check out Tales from the Tour Bus. Waylon Jennings, top 20 songs. Joe Opinionated. So number 20, 1985's album, Music Man, the opening track, Clyde. Well, Clyde the bass player, that's all I know. If you know more about it, put it in the comments below. Clyde, number 20. At number 19, I have the classic Waylon Jennings record that I don't own, Honky Tonk Heroes, Willie the Wandering Gypsy and Me, written by Billy Joe Shaver. Now, Billy Joe Shaver wrote a lot of the tracks on Honky Tonk Heroes. There's a cool story about that in Tales from the Tour Bus, Mike Judge, where it talks about how Waylon and Billy Joe Shaver got hooked up. I think it was at a festival, Willie, Willie Nelson's festival, and in, in like a random trailer or something, Waylon heard Billy Joe playing his songs and bust out of the back and to play that again. Pretty interesting relationship the two of them had. Billy Joe Shaver just passed away, I believe last year. Tragedy, he was close friends with Norm Macdonald, Canadian comic legend. So they both passed away in the same year. Number 19 is Willie the Wandering Gypsy and Me. And I've heard Norm Macdonald also say that that's his favorite number. Check that one out. Norm says so. Number 18 song on Joe Pinionated list is off album from 1978 title track, I've Always Been Crazy. Him self reflecting on how crazy he is, and he was a pretty hard pill popping, drug doing, outlaw country guy. Some pretty cool stories about this one as well. Once again, a Mike Judge's series, Tales from the Tour Bus. I've Always Been Crazy, 1978. Number 17 on Waylon Jennings' Joe Opinionated list, I've got from Old Waylon, 1977's Lukenbach, Texas. There was also Tales from the Tour Bus where they're talking about Waylon singing the song for the first time, and by the time he got to the chorus the second time around, the entire stadium was singing it with him. Number 17, Joe Opinionated off the 77 album Old Waylon, which I can't find today. Okay, number 16, Waylon Jennings' song. This is one is off the Outlaws record here, compilation with himself, Billy Nelson, his wife, Jesse Coulter, and Tom Paul Glazer. This is a classic record, The Outlaws. Pretty sure at one time it was the biggest selling country record of all time. The Outlaw movement was some guys that moved away from Nashville, mostly Texas, Willie and uh, Waylon were getting away from the Nashville sound. So the Nashville sound, if you don't know, was sort of a Chet Atkins thing. Chet Atkins is one of the greatest guitar players of all time, but he's also one of the greatest record producers of all time out of Nashville. He had this formula that he used. It didn't work well for Waylon and Willie. So they kind of broke away from that. The Outlaw movement was born and uh, the Outlaws, this record was uh, the dark side of the moon for Outlaw Country. Track is Good Hearted Woman from Waylon and Willie off of the Outlaws record, 1976. In 1975, Waylon put out uh, my favorite record of his. I mean, it's between this one and Honky Tonk Heroes. Off of this record, Dreaming My Dreams, song number 15 on my top 20 Waylon Jennings Joe Pinnity list, Bob Wills is Still the King. Waylon joked about this song later, saying he's not actually a Bob Wills fan. The song lyric started as a letter from himself to Willie Nelson. Bugging Willie, doesn't matter what you do in Austin, Bob Wills is still the king. It was kind of meant to be a joke. Bob Wills is Still the King is a great track. It's the final track on this, and he performs it live on the album itself, Dream of the Dreams, which is 1975. Bob Wills is Still the King, number 15 on the Joe Pinionated list. 
Number 14 on the list also comes from Dreamin' My Dreams, 1975's masterpiece. The track this time is High Times. This is just a classic uh, Waylon Jennings track. Simple bass line, his Telecaster. I love the sound, it comes out of his guitar. I don't know what that is, phasers, chorus. Put it in the comments if you know what you're talking about. I don't, that's why I come with a few facts, lots of opinions. High Times, number 14, Joe Pinionated list. Number 13, we get from the 1973 album of Waylon Jennings, the title track again, Lonesome, Henri, and Mean. Another another easy to listen to, simple outlaw country song. That's a road song. He's talking about being on the bus, being an ordinary guy with ordinary problems. Lonesome, Henri, and Mean comes in on my list at number 13. Track number 12, Waylon Jennings' album, The Rambling Man in 1974, Amanda. Uh, Amanda's the closing song on this album from The Rambling Man, 1974, Amanda. To number 11 for uh, Waylon Jennings' Joe Pinionated list. On number 11 from the same album from Waylon Jennings, The Rambling Man, I'm a Rambling Man. I'm a Rambling Man by Waylon Jennings off of the album, The Rambling Man. That's easy, These, this guy's rambling. This series could also be called A Rambling Man. Okay, so here we go with the top 10 Waylon Jennings tracks, Joe Pinionated list. Now we're going with 1979's, one of the later songs on this list for me anyways. Number 10, Blues and A, Ain't Living Long Like This. I Ain't Living Long Like This. It opens up with the line, I looked for trouble and I found it, son, straight down the barrel of a lawman's gun. I tried to hide, but I don't think I can. You make one move and you're a dead man, friend. Ain't living long like this. So number nine comes off of Dream of My Dreams, one of my favorite records by Waylon Jennings. The track, Are You Sure Hank Done It This Way? This is a song that really I uh, caught on to in the Ken Burns documentary, Country Music. I haven't bought the soundtrack to that documentary, but Are You Sure Hank Done It This Way? This is a song about my buddies told me you go to Nashville, you, you, you totally got it made. All our friends made it there, we're not, and we're all sure that you will. And then he goes, are you sure Hank done it this way? And then he talks about we need to change. It's been the same way for years. Rhinestone shoes, new shiny cars. We need to change. We need to change. He's talking about the music and it just being this old dusty, the Nashville sound, the Chet Atkins thing. It's such an important song in country music. One of my absolute favorites. Are you sure Hank done it this way? Talking about cowboy poet Hank Williams Sr. Number eight, Joe Pinionated list best Waylon Jennings songs of all time. You're going to have to toe the mark and walk the line. The track is called This Time, and This Time will be the last time. Number eight, it's off of his uh, album called This Time, I believe, 1974. I just love the lyrics to this one. It's a song about it sounds like there's a couple that has broken up or they're, and somebody's letting somebody back into their relationship, but they're just saying, listen, this is the last time I'm letting you back in. Be on best behavior. This time's a great track. Have a listen to it. If that's where you're at in your relationship or whatever. <laughs> This might be a good album for both of you to listen to. Waylon Jennings, 1974, title track again, this time. Number seven. Number seven for my Waylon Jennings top 20 tracks. I have from the monumental album, Honky Tonk Heroes, written by Billy Joe Shaver, Waylon Jennings, Ain't No God in Mexico. It's a song about crossing the border and just what a fool that makes you feel like and how uncomfortable it is. As a Canadian, crossing the border into the States and coming back, I mean, you feel like you've done something wrong every single time, even though you haven't. So I can kind of relate to the song. I've got a pretty funny story about my dad and I crossing the border years and years ago where they didn't believe I was his son because I don't look much like my dad. It's only two verses. I wish it was a longer song. This song, if it had 10 verses, I would listen to the whole thing. It could be an hour long. Ain't No God in Mexico, number seven for my Waylon Jennings top song. Song's Joe Pinionated list. Waylon Jennings' top 20 songs. I've got Joe Pinionated list number six. Again, from Honky Tonk Heroes. Uh, it's hard to get you up here in Canada. I'd love a copy of this on vinyl. And we got Omaha. Track number six is Omaha. And that's my dog. Again. Top five, we're on song number five. The track is Black Rose. Black Rose is one that I'm really into right now. It's only recently jumped in my top 10 list. I think it's a song about pills. I could be totally wrong. I haven't looked into this at all. Like I said, this series is low on facts, high on opinions. I think it's about like those little black and red pills. What is it actually about? I don't know. The song's called Black Rose. The chorus of Black Rose, the devil made me do it the first time. The second time I'd done it on my own. That's as Waylon Jennings and Billy Joe Shaver as it gets. 
Okay, track number four on my list of top 20 Waylon Jennings songs. The track itself is called I've Been a Long Time Leaving. This is the one that I fell in love with watching uh, Ken Burns country music. This one hit hard. It's a cover of a Roger Miller song. Now, Roger Miller is a guy famous for King of the Road. I will be making a list for Roger Miller too because I love his songwriting. Him and Roger Miller were close friends in that Tales from the Tour Bus City. They talk a lot about Roger supplying of some of these pills back in the day. I've been a long time leaving, but I'll be a long time gone. And it's kind of got a bit of a whoop whoop. And you see that uh, Waylon Jennings does that a lot in his songs. And I don't know if that's a nod to Roger Miller or not, because Roger Miller also does that a lot. Track four for me, Joe Pinionated List, I've been a long time leaving. Track number three on my list here, the title track this time, Honky Tonk Heroes. Billy Joe's version of this song is, is a little bit slower. It's a beautiful song. I put it up there, one of the greatest country songs ever written. As far as the lyrics go, I, it's at John Prine, Bob Dylan level of lyrics. Honky Tonk Heroes is just perfect, a perfect song to me. Got it number three on my favorite Waylon Jennings tracks. At number two, I have a track from 1978's album, I've Always Been Crazy. It's the second song called Don't Y'all Think This Outlaw Bit Has Done Got Out of Hand. This song is about an experience they had in the studio, beautifully documented in Mike Judge's series tale from the two of us. Waylon had a bit of a cocaine problem. He was getting large amounts of cocaine. He had it with him in the studio. They knew that the cops might have known about it. Cops bust through the door. Guy in the back of the, at the mixing board convinced is the cops to to wait and let Waylon finish the song. Time is precious in the studio, so they, they agreed. In the meantime, there's a plot to get rid of the drugs that are at Waylon's feet, almost uh, like a copious amount of cocaine. Uh, he gets arrested, and then when they went to pick him up from jail the next day, he said, I, it was great, I wrote this awesome song last night called Don't Y'all Think This Outlaw Bit Is Done Got Out of Hand. Sometimes I fall in love with the story for the song before I fall in love with the song itself. It's not the greatest song, but I got it at number two for <laughs> the Chen's, my favorite. Joe Pinionated tracks. And at number one for my Waylon Jennings Joe Pinionated top 20 songs list, I've got from Dreaming My Dreams, the track Way More Blues. There's an amazing version of this where he's singing it with Jesse Coulter sitting beside him on some talk show. And I also saw the Sturgill Simpson talking about that as well as being one of the better performances of this song, Way More Blues. There's four verses. I think they're all about trying to hook up with a lady. Who knows? Who knows what it's actually about? He calls it a modern, if you got to get to heaven, got a D.I.E gotta put on your coat and TIE. If you want to get the rabbit out the LOG, you gotta make a commotion like a DOG. Absolutely love it. It's my number one Waylon Jennings song. I love lots of different versions of it. There's another one where he's got a killer guy on the slide guitar as well or pedal steel. In the description, I've got the playlist for the top 20 Waylon songs. I had a track conversation with uh, Hank Jr. that didn't quite make the list. That's an honorable mention would be the conversation with Hank Williams Jr. This has been another Joe Pinionated list. Top 20 20 Waylon Jennings songs. If you got another opinion, I'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below. Like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Low on facts, high on opinions. Have a good day.